What's up YouTube, I'm Mike. Today I'm back with a quick spring blast cycle update. We have finally reached the countdown to Trimbalone. It feels like it has been forever in the making, but finally coming up, I believe this Saturday will mark the four week mark since I started my spring blast. All of the hormones that I've been taking thus far have started to stabilize in my system. I've gotten a couple of good fights with my wife out. You know, we checked those boxes already. Every single time I start blasts and I get on that up phase, it always causes a lot of irritation, irritability, just short temper. I've expressed that already in some of the previous videos, so I won't beat on that again, but everything has started to stabilize. In fact, she told me a few days ago she couldn't believe what a phenomenal mood I was in. So obviously when you get that vote of confidence for your wife, immediately what you do to follow it is fuck it all up again and throw in the godfather of all steroids, Trenbolone, known for absolutely destroying relationships. I think my wife is literally going to bed every night just chewing her fingernails off, counting the days down until this hormone comes back into our lovely marriage. Uh, honestly, I'm only going to be starting it at a 50 milligrams per week. Um, this is a dose that, that is tried and true in our marriage. We know uh, that it is not only effective, but that it is something that we can uh, maintain and, and keep, uh, keep our wits about us. Um, I always have to check my microphone. I can't tell you the number of times I cut these videos and have to do the entire thing because like a mic's not on or something stupid. So um, nevertheless, um, also I've got a little bit of a rich piano look going here, a little God of War I decided to play with my facial hair. Uh, the biggest reason I no longer have my beard, in case any of you are wondering about that, I'm sure nobody gives you shit, but just in case you were, uh, the gray hair over the past six months has just started coming in so aggressively. I was going to dye it. My wife doesn't want me to. She says she loves the fucking salt and pepper look. Uh, but I hate it, honestly. And so I was going to dye it. And then I decided, fuck it, I'll shave it. And then I got bored with that. So I'm trying something new. So it'll probably look ridiculous for until I get bored with it. So um, also... Before I get into the details of the cycle video, I would like to take a big shout out to Jim Ursay's sponsor, YouTuber by the name of Jim Ursay's sponsor, at least that's his YouTube handle in the comments. He comments on a lot of my videos and he pointed out the other day uh, that Anadrol has a, has a 10 hour half-life. Um, I have read conflicting reports about this. I, I, I felt like I had seen multiple times where people just said they take one Anadrol a day. So when I started the 50 milligrams of Anadrol, I was taking it once a day, and uh, at his recommendation, I decided to break my dose up into two, so I take 25 in the morning, 25 in the evening, it's sort of a pre-workout dose, and guys, that has been working really, really good for me. So uh, I don't know if you've ever tried this before, but certainly I'm having much better psychological results from taking the dose split apart into two. When I was taking it only as one, I would start to feel like a little bit of a come down in the evenings, which was really unfortunate because I would sort of start losing that, that edge and that, that aggressiveness right before it was time for me to go to the gym. And so I was pounding caffeine drinks uh, you know, to kind of get the motivation back. Taking, taking that, that, that second 25 milligrams as a pre-workout has been really, really great for my intensity in the gym. So thank you very much for that comment. I always appreciate all the comments, constructive criticism. Sometimes I take off on people in the comments just because I'm irritable, but um, I, I definitely appreciate uh, everybody who comments on these videos. It's, it's really great to read all of it. So, um, so where we're at right now in this cycle is I'm on 500 milligrams of Test E, 200 milligrams of Primo E, um, 50 milligrams of Anadrol per day with four IUs of growth hormone. At the end of this week, I'll be adding 50 milligrams of Trin, and that's all I'm gonna say on that matter uh, because I'm very nervous as to where these doses may end up at. Uh, I said six months ago I was not gonna start, I was probably never gonna do a serious blast again because I'm too old and because of because of a lot of drag and honestly after all of these months off i'm getting that old familiar itch again one of the biggest reasons that i committed not to doing any big blasts again however is because of a problem i'm already having on this cycle and that is that i still struggle to get my calories in my diet is shitty to begin with i eat, you know i i've made videos about all of the crap that i eat and even eating all the crap and drinking all the dr peppers i still struggle 
to maintain more than about 3,600 calories. Sometimes I can't even get 3,600 calories down. Uh, one of the biggest problems is I don't like to eat in the morning and I believe the anadrol is actually contributing to that. So I'm gonna try to get my ass out of bed earlier, get a full meal on my stomach before I take that first anadrol because I think it's putting me in a bad place for the remainder of the day. So I've got to get the calories up. If I cannot, you know, eat in a significant surplus, then it just does not make any sense to continue taxing my body with high doses of androgens because, you know, it doesn't matter how much gear you take. I could, I could pin four grams a week and if you don't eat, you're just not going to grow. And so it's just, it's an unnecessary strain on my body. It's an unnecessary strain on my marriage and, you know, it's because it's going to lead to nothing. So, um, so that's where we're at with the hormones. Um, also, while I'm, while I'm thinking about it, my wife has decided to start her own YouTube channel. I believe she's over here working on it right now. I think the video that she's posted today is going into her experience with Anavar. This stands to be a very exciting you know, uh, uh, event because we're going to have two people living in the same home, both cycling, both making YouTube content from, from you know, each other's perspective. So I think it could be really interesting to see what my experience with these cycles are, what her experience with, it, with these cycles are, what our experience of each other is, raising kids, trying to figure out how to travel, trying to solve all of our RV nightmares. There's a lot going on in our family, and I think it could be really entertaining and very interesting to see both perspectives of all of the fallout that is almost certainly going to happen when I start back on the trend at whatever dose um, we land at. And while I'm shouting out other people, let me go ahead and shout out my son. He has been begging and pleading for me to shout out his content. He makes gamer videos. He's, you know, he's, he's young. He's been doing it for a long time. His YouTube handle is Tomahawk Twizzler. If you guys would go give him a couple of clicks, he would appreciate it as well. He's actually become very, very good at using DaVinci Resolve, and he spent the better part of the day with my wife showing her how to cut clips together and do all the video editing, and, and, and so he's, he's really become very good at that. Uh, we may have to employ him before long to cut all these videos because we're both going to be making a lot of content. So check out Tomahawk Twizzler. Check out my wife. All of the links will be in the, in the description or in the videos at the end of this video. So all of the plugs aside, where we're at with the cycle that you guys care the most about, my strength is finally growing, coming up out of the toilet. Still nowhere near what it was uh, before I started traveling. I'm only lifting about an hour to an hour and a half a day primarily because I'm just not getting enough calories. It doesn't make sense to do a two hour workout and end up in a deficit when the point of this cycle is to put on some lean, solid gains. I started out at about 188 pounds with, with, with abs, but not like diced abs. And over the course of the last three weeks, I've gone from 188, pretty soft, to 195, peeled. The growth hormone, the, the, the androgen load, the vascularity is getting out of control. My legs are already starting to take on that shrink wrap to peel or shrink wrap to look. My abs are looking nice and tight and very, very visible. So I'm happy with where my body is aesthetically, but I would like to see a little bit more uh, actual tissue put onto my frame. What I'm hoping to get to, I'm not trying to go crazy with this blast, I would really just like to get to 200 pounds lean. That's what I would like to be at. I've gotten up, up, up over 200 pounds multiple times in life, multiple times over the last few years, but every time I, 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 I break that 200 pound threshold, it's usually carrying a lot of body fat. And so when I go back to being normal, I shed the fat and I fall back down in that 193 pound range. So where I would really like to be at the end of this blast is 200 pounds lean. That's the goal. We'll see if we get there or not. So um, my E2 has stabilized. My libido is back. My, uh, you know, my sexual performance is back. There's a couple of other factors that I think are leading to that, but I will get to that in a different video. It's also worth mentioning that I take Cialis at about four to five milligrams a day just as sort of in case shit. When you when you when you have all kind of, all of the fluctuating hormones, and at my age, it certainly doesn't uh, doesn't hurt. And it you know whether whether it helps or not, I, I really don't know. But uh, that is also in the mix. So basically, everything that I wanted to see 
um, in this come up phase has been realized. My estrogen has stabilized, my mood has stabilized, my libido has stabilized, my strength is growing, and I'm seeing the, the types of clean gains that I'm looking for. So over the course of the next four weeks, when we add in the trend, what I would really like to see is obviously more lean tissue, and I think we should start to see some gains now that the, the, the 500 milligrams is finally reaching, reaching serum peak serum concentration. I cannot talk over these teeth sometimes. Um, so once we get all of those hormones dialed in, then hopefully some of the body mass will start to come along with it. It certainly doesn't hurt that my wife is now cycling, so we'll be counting calories together, lifting together, motivating each other. One of the things that's easy to happen when you're, when, you know, when I'm having to leave my family to go to the gym is on days that I'm being lazy, it's easy to come up with excuses not to go. So it's really helpful when you have someone else who's going, no, fuck that, get off your ass, we're going to the gym, and then I can motivate her on the days that she's down, and we both just kind of buoy each other, lift each other up. The fact that we're cycling together certainly doesn't hurt, and so uh, hopefully her libido is gonna be coming back in a major way because that's one of my favorite things about her uh, blasting compounds. Uh, all of the extra sensitivity downstairs. It, it just really changes her frame of mind and I actually really enjoy that look on her. So we'll see um, exactly what that looks like in the days and weeks to follow. So I don't wanna keep this going on real long. Basically, this is just sort of a midpoint in this cycle. Everything is finally getting to the condition where we want it to be and the trend balloon is on the way. I absolutely cannot wait. As soon as I start feeling the effects of that of the of the of the trend in the system or anything significantly even remotely interesting changes, I'll come back with those videos. Please check out all the links in the description below. Give my son and my wife a shout out if you can. A couple of clicks, they would really appreciate it. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.